I'm here to declare myself an independent candidate. independent candidate for President of the United States. But that's not all. I'm here to join you in making a new Declaration of Independence for our entire nation. We declare independence from the corporations that have hijacked our government. And we declare independence from the Wall Street, from big tech, from big pharma, from big ag, from the military contractors, and their lobbyists. And we declare independence from the mercenary media that is here to, to, to fortify all of the corporate orthodoxies from their advertisers and to urge us to hate our neighbors and to fear our friends. And we declare independence from the cynical elites who betray our hope and who amplify our divisions. And finally, and finally, we declare independence from the two political parties. And and the corrupt interests that dominate them and the entire rig system of rancor, of rage, of corruption, of lies that has turned government officials into indentured servants for their corporate bosses. We declare independence from these corrupting powers because they are incompatible with the inalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness that the people who sat in that hallway ratified for us in 1776, 1787. Now we can guard life. How can we guard life? When the for-profit corporations have captured the public agencies that are supposed to protect us. How can we enjoy liberty when a surveillance state seeks to hide the truth and to quash dissent. And how can we pursue happiness when debt and low wages imprison so many of our nation's families? And so I've come here today to declare our independence from the tyranny of corruption, which robs us of affordable lives, our belief in the future, and our respect for each other. But to do that, but to do that, I must first declare my own independence. Independence from the Democratic Party. And, and from all other political parties. I, I haven't made this decision lightly. It's very painful for me to let go of the party of my uncles, my father, my, my grandfather, and both of my great-grandfathers, Honey Fitz, Fitzgerald, and Patrick, who was the first Irish Catholic ghetto mayor of Boston, and Patrick Kennedy, who was a ward boss in Boston. Both of them launched our political dynasty over 100 years ago. But my sacrifice is nothing compared to the risk our founding fathers took when they signed the Declaration of Independence 247 years ago. They knew that if their revolution failed, every last one of them would be hanged. They chose to place everything on the line. When John Adams put his pen down after adding his signature to the Declaration, he turned to those present and he said to them, sink or swim, 
live or die, survive or perish, from this day on, I am with my country. I'm going to make... I'm going to make that same pledge to you today so that I can stand before you as every leader should, should stand before you, free of partisan allegiance, free from, the, free from the backroom deals, a servant only to my conscience, to my creator, and to you. Today, today, we turn a new page in American politics. There have been independent candidates in this country before, but this time it's going to be different. Because, because this time, the independent is going to win. <laughs>